Meteorologist Sam Coppin here taking a look at your web forecast and we'll start things off by taking a look at the amount of precipitation we've had this month. We started off in a very wet fashion. Basically the first five days we had rainfall but since then it's been hard to come by. Only had two days where we had measurable or reported rainfall on the 7th and the 12th and today we were hoping that we get a widespread rainfall but it's looking like it's just going to be a minor event for most of the capital region this weekend overall sunday would be the pick because of more sunshine but today's not a bad day as i mentioned not a whole lot of rain but there will be a good amount of clouds around and that will make sunday a little bit warmer and that's why i would lean towards that day but can't go wrong either day maybe a few showers this afternoon keep if you want to keep that in mind we've had clouds move in the last few hours cold front off to our west a storm system off the Jersey coast and you would think with all this rain around we'd be getting a good amount of it but this front's going to be weakening and this system off the coast is going to be angled more towards New England and that means we're going to be kind of in a hole in terms of rainfall today so we're going to be having a lot of clouds around not a whole lot of showers to come by maybe first few showers could be four or five o'clock continuing off and on throughout the evening hours but definitely more off than on activity with all those clouds around temperatures are not going to rise as much as they did the last few days so i think we'll cap off at around 70 degrees across the area of course cooler in some of the higher terrain spots 67 could be your high in indian lake and notice how the wet weather that we saw near new york city and new jersey well that's going to be going towards new england and in those areas that could be getting a good amount of it maybe one two inches of rain just east of us maybe parts of litchfield and berkshire county get in on a few of those showers but the capital region should remain largely dry and then there's a cool front off to our west and notice how as it gets closer a few showers could remain intact but it's certainly not a widespread rain could just be for a few hour period we see just off and on light showers starting the day tomorrow there can be a few lingering clouds around and then we go over to a lot more sunshine in the afternoon that allows temperatures to get up into the upper 70s monday it's a very similar story with a lot of sunshine around so for projected rainfall totals well it looked like earlier on this morning parts of this 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 heavier rain would be a little bit further inland but now it's looking like it's going to be further off to the east and that means even places like Pittsfield may not get a lot of rain and especially Albany down through the Hudson Valley not expecting a whole lot so it's basically the periphery of the capital region well west maybe you get a quarter of an inch of rain or if you go well east that's where you get a lot of rain over parts of eastern New England and then for the day tomorrow warmer than today with that sunshine temperatures mid to perhaps upper 70s around breezy at times wind gusts as high as 20 miles per hour and the week as a whole well it's another quiet and dry stretch with high pressure in place which allows temperatures to be seasonable in the 70s and with the high pressure in place not going to allow too many clouds to form in the area which means a lot of sunshine in store once again so for this afternoon upper 60s to low 70s varying shower coverage but overall light activity across the capital region overnight tonight we'll be seeing showers decreasing after midnight clear skies late but still a few clouds around for our sunday morning and then we start to go over to mostly sunny skies by the afternoon temperatures mid to perhaps upper 70s here's a look at your seven day forecast and again a quiet and sunny week one after another slim shower risk wednesday night not too confident on that just looks like a minor deal and then beyond that if we don't get showers wednesday night looks to stay dry